man, Demetrius Andres. You know, with the weird ass clothes he likes to wear all the time. There's something wrong with that dude. But inside the ring, when it comes to that boxing, he is a beast though. And he's definitely somebody that's really, really talented um, inside the ring. And um, unfortunately for him, when it comes to business, he handles business kind of like he handles his attire and his weird ass wardrobes. And he doesn't handle it like he does his boxing skills when he's inside of a ring. Um, once again, he's come out, you know, yelling about how um, Canelo Alvarez was avoiding him, um, how Billy Joe Saunders was avoiding him, and how Chavo was avoiding him, quote, avoiding him. And um, it's again, it's one of those situations where someone made their bed and they refused, but now they refuse to lie in it. Now they want to complain and cry and bitch, you know, understanding the situations they were getting into. You know, and then when things start to happen a certain way, you know, it's let's blame the other fighters and that's but not let's blame ourselves for what we've done and blame those we put in control of us to handle these situations. Um, we all know back before I had 154 pounds, um, he had the opportunity to fight, you know, the, the little Charlo at 154 pounds and they had a sign deal and everything, you know what I mean? They were supposed to, you know, had the date set up, everything. Everybody was ready in training camp, everything. They're ready, everything was ready to go. And he decides to jump ship, you know, because Rock Nation promised him something that they ended up not, you know, coming through with. And not to mention, he could, he was still under a signed deal with a, some promoter, so he couldn't sign to do the deal anyway. And um, he walked away from that Charla fight and also a multi fight deal with Showtime. So then after that, you know, things kind of scattered for him for a little bit. He had a long time of not fighting, um, got stripped of his belt, all his other stuff. You know, then again, he got active again. Um, he got put into a space again where, you know, Showtime started putting him in fights again. Kind of like, all right, you know what? Let's put the past behind us. Let's make this work. Now, when this little couple of fights was done with Showtime, they had a deal on the table for him. And the deal was a multi-fight deal, right? It was a multi-fight deal. And one of the main people they were going to give him up front, first fight he's going to have was against Charlo. And this is coming from Demetrius Andres in the interview, by the way. And he says that he didn't take the deal because after Charlo, what, what did they have for him? He said they didn't have anything from after Charlo. He said everybody else was at... You know, everybody else was at um, the zone, which is weird because a whole bunch of people weren't at the zone at the at the particular time. But you know, even though when he when he signed there, though, a lot of people did sign there. You know, they end up getting Billy Joe Saunders, they end up getting Smith, they got um, who, you know, who else they got over there? They got uh, Gennady Golovkin over there. End up getting Canelo Alvarez over there. You know, they end up getting a lot of fighters over there. So. And this is the route that he had taken. And the promoter that he chose, and Eddie Hearn, had promised him that, hey, I'm going to be able to get you all these fights. He always used to talk about how you would handle this person's career and that person's career, how you'd be able to get this person this fight and that fight and all this other stuff. That's what he continuously talks about, how he can make all these fights happen. And, um, but, turns out, you know, he wasn't able to make it happen. Canelo Alvarez had three of the belts. You know, he could have fought Demetrius Andrus for undisputed bout, but never happened. Um, Billy Joe Saunders is signed to um, Eddie Hearn. Can't get him that fight either. You know, he has two fighters at 168 pounds. Can't get him either one. You know, uh, Gennady Golovkin's also in the zone. IBF champion. Can't get him that fight. You know, so he put himself into a space where not only is he not getting any of these fights in the zone, but now it's a situation where it's hard for him to get the Charlo fight. They keep screaming about, oh, they want to make the Charlo fight. They want to make the Charlo fight. And Charlie keeps saying the same thing. If you want to make the fight? Cool. Talk to Al Heyman. But Eddie Hearn chooses not to do that. He chooses not to talk to the people that actually negotiate the fights. So if he's not willing to do that, that should pretty much tell you what's up with that. It should tell you that right, that right there should tell you what's up with that particular situation. You know, even when um, Daniel Jacobs um, was still kind of like um, he, he had uh, he had signed to uh, Eddie Hearn, and it was actually on HBO at the time, and the WBC had ordered. Uh, final eliminator between uh, Danny Jacobs and Charlo, they walked away from that. You know, 
he had what's the call? He had Jacobs walk away from that particular opportunity as well. You know, Jacobs ended up being cool because later on he fought Canelo. He got a fat paycheck, and he's disappeared ever since then. So you know, it ended up working out pretty well for him, I guess you could say. But Demetrius Andrews, all of a sudden now he's stuck. You know, these are the people that he chose. You know, to to handle his career. And things ain't working out the way that he thought they were gonna work out. Just like you know, Devin Haney. Devin, so it's the same thing. He chose. He could have stayed with Showtime. Had a deal where they really would have focused on him, on building him up, on promoting him. He would have had all these other fighters from like let's say the Al Heyman stable that have been very readily available to him. But he chose to go sign with the Zone and sign with Eddie Hearn. And then all these fights that Eddie Hearn said he's gonna be able to get him. Said he's gonna give him the Lomachenko fight and this and that hasn't panned out. You know, hasn't panned out. And he hasn't been able to get any of the fights that were offered to him or promised to him. But this is the bet that you make, so he must lay in it. You know, back to that statement. All they have is Charlo. After Charlo, what do they have to give me? Well, the other side have absolutely nothing to give you. They've given you nothing. So that would have been a very big fight for you to have. Not to mention... It's a fight where, especially if you got the WBO belt, it would have been a unification belt. So if you're really that good, you'd be a unified champion right now. You know? And you pretty much would be like the, the, the that, that shining star at 160 pounds, where it's like, yeah, you beat this guy and that guy, you really ain't nothing unless you beat Demetrius Andres. Because he beat Charlotte, the undefeated champion, and he's the only unified champion in the division. He could have been that. But he chose to go another route, so... And not only that... His deal was up with the zone. His deal was up, I guess, with Eddie Hearn. And he chose to sign an extension. He has like a three or a four fight extension. So at this point, you can't feel bad for him. You can't feel, for, honestly, I think he's just talking just to talk, to be honest. Because at this point, he knew the exact situation that he was in, you know, yet he just, again, didn't even go to explore to see what else he could, you know, you know, else could be done for him. Didn't see none of that. Can I get a multi-fight deal, maybe? Especially since I have this belt. And let's do this fight with Charlo. Like, you know, what would Al Heyman offer me? What do the other people have to offer me? Didn't check anything. Just went ahead and re-signed with Eddie Hearn. And re-signed with the zone. So he's made this bed. He needs to lay in it. He needs to shut the fuck up. And no one needs to feel bad for him. Because he's talking out of his ass. If you ask me. Like, subscribe, share, I'm out.